right, folks. Well, it's Alan Rubel again, coming back at you from Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. Well, we got another uh, bag review for you here today, and this is probably one of the ba mo bags I'm most excited about here. Uh, it is still a relatively new purchase for me, so I'm still learning it myself. Uh, I hope that I don't <laughs> skip over anything, but really all I'm wanting to do is just uh, guide you in the right direction and let you come to the decision uh, on your own. This is the Shangri-La <laughs> deployment bag. I love it. Uh, it's awesome. Now, there was several of these style of deployment bags to choose from. Uh, so you say, hey Al, what's the difference? Well, here there's, uh, there's subtle differences. Uh, so you can check out the material, you can check out the waterproofness, whatnot. Um, so there's the high end and the low end, uh, and I'm not made of money. So what I try and do is I try and find what makes the best of the best, uh, the features that they have, and see what other maybe brands offer those features as well. And I found them all with the Shangri-La. Now, I do believe this is a, a, a Chinese company. Uh, which, which, you know, I always want to purchase uh, American-made products, but, you know, that it just isn't always the case. I have to look out for me as well, and, and you know, I bought this at a very affordable price, and, and I, it was just too good of a deal to pass up. Um, but it was, it was a close running with the One Tigress. Uh, if you're familiar with that brand, they make a nice uh, quality product, and really had almost settled on the one tigress uh, I really like that bag um, you can make your own decision on whether you would like the Shangri-La or the one tigress and I'll tell you here what ultimately influenced my decision to go with this bag okay first off one thing that I noticed between the Shangri-La and the one tigress the one tigress only had it was like two colors. This head is the camo. I'm a camo. I'm a camo guy. I like camo. It's not a deal breaker for me, but psh, check it. It's on the list. This is in camo. Um, you know, and really black is, it seems like you get an increase from black to, you know, desert sand or whatever, and then once you go up to camo. So, are you willing to pay a little bit extra for camo? Uh, again, I found the deal, and I really didn't have to pay that upgrade. So, camo was a check in this favor, and really, at that point, it still wasn't a deal breaker for me. What was the deal breaker is this is the large size. So, one Tigress did not offer the large size in this deployment style bag. You'll see all different kinds of the deployment style bag. You get definitely you got two pouches here. You got a zipper pouch. You got this strap on top. They're basically very similar, very similar. Really, the only difference is going to be the uh, uh, the denier material uh, and and price. Really, it, it, and you know whatever. Uh, it's going to be very close, but this had the large size, and after I was getting it, uh, I'm glad I got the large because it's almost too small. But uh, on the reviews that I see here, that this bag at the large size is very comparable to the Maxpedition, and I'm sorry I don't know the Maxpedition model numbers and and whatnot. It's just because Maxpedition is really a bit out of my price range, uh, so to speak, and so I just don't pay that much attention to be able to pull it out of my mind here on video for you. But the large size is is very comparable to one of the Maxpedition's models. Uh, more So it's more comparable to the Maxpedition model than it is the One Tigers at this size. But anyway, let's kind of get into the bag itself just a little bit. There's not a whole lot that I need to say about the bag. Look at it. It's awesome. I mean, there's three different ways of carrying this bag. Uh, so, you know, you can carry it with a handle, you can carry it with a shoulder strap, and what's really super cool here is it can also be a, a large fanny pack. I think 
for the long run, at this size, you get any considerable weight in here, and I'm not going to carry this around my waist. But I will hook it around a tree, you betcha. So I'm a hunter. I'm going to be in the woods. This is what I bought it for, was hunting and, and filming. Basically, this is going to be my uh, tactical camera bag, so to speak, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, so basically, I have, uh, I have a, a backpack now uh, that I'm going to be carrying to the tree. And when I get out to the tree, this is going to be my deployment bag. But basically, what I lift up, pull up into the tree with me, I'll pull up my drawstring. And then I'll get everything I need. So I need to have camera gear. I need to have uh, some some stuff that's going to uh, sustain me up in the tree, whether it be water, whether it be food, whatnot. It's going to have to be in here. What I need in the tree for the day, I'm not pulling that big backpack up. I'm going to pull my my uh, Canon uh, G40 up in this bag. This is what it's going in. So three different ways uh, you can carry this backpack. You know, when I'm not hunting, this make a great EDC bag. I mean, seriously, range bag, whatever you want. I mean, this is, it's a do-it-all. Uh, there's endless possibilities with this bag. I'm super excited about it. But let's open it up here. I mean, everything is high quality. The zippers, I mean, I got, man, I can just think of things that I can put in here. I got my, my, my limb saw, my gut knife, my deer drag. Boom. It'll all go in one, this one pocket. It'll all go in this one pocket. I just did a uh, review on that Flyleaf DSLR backpack. This has more space. I feel like I can carry more in this than I can that whole backpack. That's another story. But anyway, so this is a bit of an admin pouch. Uh, again, really, really nice durable materials. Uh, you got some mesh, pou mesh, pouches, mesh pouches here. Um, and I'm not going to get into all the details. Again, I want you to go and do your own research, make your own decision here. But super cool bag, all kinds of pockets. I mean, I what I got in here? Gloves. All kinds of room in here. I mean, identical pouch on the other side. Again, I'm not going to get into it. I just want to give you an idea of why I made my decision. Uh, you know, I know everybody's needs are different, so I can't suspect that your needs will be the same as mine. But uh, some more pockets here. I mean, you can really. I'm actually going to turn this on here in a moment and get some close-ups of this for you. Uh, but you can really see uh, that all this material, I was thinking that, you know, a Chinese brand uh, may not have the best quality of stuff, but it really, I mean, it really is. It's going to, this, I'm, I take care of my stuff. I'm not easy on it. I expect it to do a job, uh, but I, I can see that, uh, that this is going to last for many years. So here's one feature that mimics the uh, Maxpedition brand more than the One Tigris. Is this zipper here. And again, you got these compression straps. But this zipper here, it basically comes all the way down. That, you cannot find that on the One Tigris. That, that's not on there. So this is more of what you're going to find uh, on the Maxpedition. But you got pockets within pockets I mean it's gonna take me it's gonna take me a couple years probably even to, to find the fullest of this uh, to be able to to be like well this is too small for me now I'm gonna have to upgrade this is gonna cover this is gonna check a lot of boxes for me but the main thing uh, that this is gonna do is I'm gonna this is gonna be up in the tree with me and everything that I need that I can't carry on my vest and in my cargo pockets is going to have to be in this bag. And, I, and again, I'll, I'll probably loosen this and put it around a tree, put it around my tree stand bar, something. You know, when I get up in the tree, I'll open it up and, and pull my camera gear out. 
Uh, so I'm going to have to probably, I mean, it's got these Molly attachments, and I'll probably look for another, uh, you know, what, there's some more things. I'm, I'm really going to put, the, I'm going to ask a lot of this thing. Uh, I'm going to be pulling out my muddy base, uh, my muddy camera arm base, and the, uh, the camera arm itself on this, uh, the G40, all, all my, uh, you know, water, hunting gear, you know, grunt calls and whatnot is going to be in this bag. And I have no doubt that I'm going to be able to get it done. I, you know, I, I'm looking into uh, things that I can work together with this bag. I mean, it, nothing, no, nothing in this world is perfect. So I don't expect this to be perfect. Uh, but I am very, very pleased uh, with this bag. And um, I'm trying to think here. I think I got it to my door with shipping. The extra size. Uh, the camo, everything for 50 bucks. That is a lot of money for me. But, like I said, uh, this is going to uh, fill multiple roles and I'm going to have it for many years. I don't get rid of my stuff, I take good care of it. So, this is high quality uh, and, um, you know, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, Again, there's several brands, models, very similar. The One Tigress, the Maxim Edition, uh, and the Shangri-La ultimately won my business. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. Stay tuned with me. we got some more uh, coming up. Uh, I will put a link down in the description that you can go and check this out yourself. So, anyway, stay tuned with us.